see we have uh, a guest, Catherine. State your name. Catherine Miller, live in Oxford, right there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do we have any public comment on today's agenda items? Yes, excuse my hat. My hair is cold. No problem. <laughs> Uh, okay, hearing none, um, I'd like to have a motion to approve both the minutes for October 19th and November 3rd, 2023. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, any action items from the executive session, Mr. Solicitor? No action items, uh, Mr. 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 Chairman. And just for for the record, we had a session commenced at 11:30. It included an information session and an executive session. No deliberation happened in the information session. It was briefing on on agenda items. Um, we discussed litigation. We discussed a potential collection matter. Uh, since it hasn't uh, become an active case yet, I'm, I'm not going to indicate who the potential defendants are. Um, and I think we talked a little, little bit about the uh, uh, personal matters too. And I gave advice on uh, legal ad advice on agenda items, but there is no action. I just want to note that for the minutes. Okay. Now we move to the solicitor's report. Uh, there are two items there. I have there were actually, actually three, but I, I, I think on item A, mem members have uh, motions on 7A. Yeah, yeah. Um, three items? I'll do, I'll do 7B and, and, and 7C. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, can I have a motion, please, for um, item A? No move. You said item uh, A? Well, I think the, the, the motion table. was to defer that. Yeah. 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 I, would, I would make a motion to uh, table defer uh, item 7A. Second. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brandon? Yes. Mr. Herford? Yes. Mrs. Mahalik? Yes. Mr. Rivera? Yes. Mr. Shelton? Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion is table. Uh, item 7B, Mag, I, I do 7B and 7C separate. Yeah, I apologize. I, I had the wrong agenda. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, item, item 7B is um, uh, long, but uh, uh, it was done after discussion at the last meeting and a uh, an item that was pointed out by our new executive manager. And the request is to approve the motion to authorize the authority officials and consultants to take any and all action necessary to amend the authority employee pension plan. That would be both for union and non-union since there is only one that plan. That the plan be amended to provide that in the event, to that there, that in the event of an involuntary change in control event of the authority by federal, state, or local government action, or federal or state court order, or other form of involuntary transfer of a majority of authority assets, that all authority employees' pensions would immediately vest, despite any contrary provision in the authority pension plan documents, uh, requiring a minimum number of years of employment before an employee is entitled to a vested pension benefits. The idea here is that traditionally we have had a five-year requirement for vesting, but in the event of an involuntary change in control events as set forth here, we would amend the uh, plan to provide that they would immediately vest. Can I just to clarify that they would not immediately get five years of service, they would vest at whatever years of service they currently have? Sir. Sure. And I, this is going to require updated documents and things like, like that. So that'll come come back. This is just an application of your intent to direct us to get those documents taken. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Good. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carried. 
Item 7C is my recommendation that the board approve the hiring of a hearing officer that is available for <coughs> any issues regarding personnel matters should the need arise. Uh, we don't anticipate that that would, that would happen, but it's always possible, and it may happen in between board meetings, so we, we thought, I thought it was prudent to rec recommend it now. Um, so I would request that we approve the hiring of Susan McDonough of the law firm of uh, Holston and Associates and Media PA at $250 per hour to function as the hearing officer on behalf of the board for personnel matters. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. That's my report. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to item 8A, which is a re request to approve expenses by function report. We have a motion for that, please. So moved. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahala. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the next item is the Director of Engineering Report. Uh, there are several items there. Uh, I'd like to first get a motion for item 9A, which is to uh, award uh, a number of contracts uh, for various uh, items used in operations. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Mossberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, item 9B is for the request to approve a one-year on-call agreement uh, for our skating system. Um, I would like to have a motion for item 9B. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. I'd like to take the next two items uh, together, items 9C and 9D. One is, 9C is for the purchase of uh, some ultrasonic units uh, to continue to do work on our Aquaria Reservoir water quality. And the other is for a uh, particle charge analyzer uh, for our analytical lab. Uh, those are items 9C and 9D. If I can get a motion for those, I'd appreciate it. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next is uh, item 9E, which is uh, a resolution and uh, approval for submission of grants. Uh, there were three grants listed, and I believe there are a total of seven grants total that we'll be uh, ultimately applying for. So if I can have a motion for item 9E, that would be great. So moved. Second. Mr. Brin. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahala. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walshberger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Looking cars. Thank you. Moving on to the executive manager's report. There are four items there. Um, I'd like to take the first item, 10A, if I can have a motion for that, which is uh, uh, for our main office and server hardware. Upgrading that. So moved. Second. Mr. Brandon. Yes. Mr. Herford. Yes. Mrs. Mahalik. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Good. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Washburger. Yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, I'd like to uh, take the next three items together. Items 10, B, C, and D. These are all associated with our watershed 
uh, protection and also improvement. Uh, I just want to make a comment that item 10C, it says in the agenda that uh, we're going to put buffers on three CWA properties, and I believe that number should be two. Correct. That's correct. Okay, so if I can get a motion for those items with that correction, items 10, B, C, and D. So moved. Second. Mr. Brand. Yes. Mr. Herfer. Yes. Mrs. Mahala. Yes. Mr. Rivera. Yes. Mr. Shelton. Yes. Mrs. Smith. Yes. Mr. Walsh. <coughs> yes. Mrs. Whitaker. Yes. Motion carries. Mr. Mr. Chairman, may I just uh, uh, tell the staff that item 10 D will need to go contract with that amendment? Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Moving on to uh, item 11, new business. Any new business? Okay. Here none. Uh, moving on. Any old business? Okay. Moving on. Do we have any public comment today on other matters? All good? Okay. Um, at this point, I... Uh, Ms. Miller, you don't want to talk about that big sign behind <laughs> <laughs> Well, we talked about it at the uh, June meeting, but this is gonna, this is this sign is going to hang on the pillars outside of Chester Water Authority, so that's why it's so large. It will be um, on those pillars. Alyssa, Steve. there's a sign that runs the entire width of the wall behind the board. And then some. And it's, then some, yeah. It's eight, it's eight feet tall by 25 feet wide. Eight feet by 25 feet, yeah. It's the size of my um, T-shirts. Can, can, can you say what it says? It says Chester Water is the best tasting water in Pennsylvania. And it has a glass with the Chester Water 30 logo. And then it's because of the 2023 Water Awards that you guys won at the American Water um, Association. Water Works Association. Credit to our staff. Right? Did we get it in the state newspapers? All the TV shows? Well, I, said that, I said a press release around yesterday, so let's we'll see if it gets picked up. Kudos, uh, Steve, David, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Was, that's great. Thomas? Um, that uh, before we adjourn. Well, you know, just, just, just for board matters, for, for information. Uh, Dr. West is not here. She had an accident. Oh, no. She is, uh, she's in a rehab center. She broke her neck, fall, and fall, and her arm. But, um, her spirits are good. So just keep her. She still wanted to be here. She would have been here if we had a hookup. Definitely would be here. I had a CLE. <laughs> Wasn't enough time to hook up. There are no other comments, so I'd like to have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. And everyone stay there, but I need your